back to Lifestyle with B. By today's title, you guys will know what today's video is about. I'll be telling you guys about my natural hair journey. And I'll also be including footage at the end of how I wash my hair and the products I use to put my hair to get my hair the way it is. But pretty much, I'm going to be telling you guys from beginning to end how I got my hair to where it is at my age of 23. And it has been a very, very long journey. So if you are want to know... Um, go ahead and stick this video out and before we get started make sure you like comment subscribe and turn on your bell post notification to be notified every time I post and never miss a post with that being said let's jump right into the video so if I look down it's because I got like a whole bunch of notes and I just gotta you know make sure I give you guys the rundown about everything so yeah so just to get started I just wanted to let you guys know that I have been natural okay so this is going to be a little confusing so i'm just going to start from elementary school my whole from a little girl all the way up until seventh grade i was natural i never put nothing in my hair no dye no relaxer no nothing when i got to seventh grade when i was in seventh grade my sister was in 10th grade my sister ended up getting her first relaxer and her hair was so 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 pretty and my hair was always in a ponytail puff ball or like whatever my mom would do to it and that's what it, but it would always just be in a puff ball so after my sister got her first relaxer i really 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 wanted one so when i was in seventh grade i got my very first relaxer the biggest mistake i could have ever done because i feel like if i would have just never did that oh man i would have not went through also i'm going to ins insert pictures so you guys can get a feel of everything i don't have a picture of when i got my very first relaxer because my flash drive the new MacBooks don't come with flash drive ports. You have to buy like a whole other adapter and I have yet to get that. So I can't pull those pictures up, but I have other pictures to show you guys the process of my hair. So I got my very first relaxer when I was in seventh grade. Um, I was in seventh grade. So that was 2010. So I got my very first relaxer in 2010. So from then on, I from 2010 to 2011, I was in seventh grade. I was getting relaxers. Um, and I was just wearing my hair straight, straightening my hair whenever I could, however I could. Like, I'm going to be in certain pictures. Like, my hair was just straight, was straight, straight, straight. Because of me straightening my hair so much and getting so many relaxers, I noticed that my hair started to break off. So, when I started to notice that was when I got to 8th grade. So, I was from 8th grade from 2011 to 2012. So, I'm in certain pictures, like I said this picture in particular you can literally see the break like there was nothing there and i was just trying to hold on so before i started ninth grade so the summer of 2012 before i started ninth grade my mom asked like i told my mom i don't want to do this no more because my because she could literally see my hair just falling apart and it was my hair was done for so i took the relaxer out so yes there's a way you can take relaxers i don't think anybody knows this you take beer um but it has to be like a malt liquor kind of beer. So she used Bud Light. I think you can use 40s too, like malt liquor 40s. I think you can use those too. But if you want to take out a relaxer to like start back your natural journey, use beer, Bud Light in particular. So she did it twice. So she, my mom like this. So this was like the summer before I started ninth grade. So like say she did it like late May. So she put one, like she did a bottle of beer like one day, like the one day I washed my hair. And then, so she like let that sit for a little bit. Then she washed my hair regularly. And then the second time I washed my hair, she poured another like a uh, beer bottle on my head and like let it sit. And I wouldn't say like I started to see curls, but the relaxer was like out if, if you get what I'm saying. So after that, I started to like start back being natural so i stopped getting relaxers but my hair was so done for that i just had to start the process over again and i started to, so i didn't want to go start high school with messed up hair so i got my very first sewing now i'm going to start the picture of my very first sewing the biggest mistake that i could make because you guys know when we when sewings became a thing even though they've been around for a long time there you had to do um what's some things called traditional sewing so you would leave out your natural hair so i'm leaving out my natural hair and i'm trying to get the process of getting it back but i'm straightening that one part so i would so from then on from ninth grade let me see 
from ninth grade all the way up until I finished like high school, I was wearing nothing but sew-ins. I don't ever think that I actually wore my hair out in high school. And if I did, it was probably for like a Friday because I knew that Saturday I was gonna go get another sew-in. Like I rarely, rarely wore my hair. Like I don't even think like people in high school knew what my real hair looked like because I was always wearing sew-in, 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 like sew-ins all of the time. Like my senior year, I got so now fast forward to my senior year. And this is what pisses me off because the picture that I would insert is on the flash drive. So fast forward to my senior year of uh, high school, I went and got braids from this girl. And I think that me getting so many sewing, so many sewing started had made my edges fragile because of course I would leave out that part or whatever side or middle part, whatever. And then I would make them leave out the perimeter as well. So I could do like ponytails or I could do my edges or whatever. So I believe that started to make my edges real, real fragile. So this girl in particular, she did good, good braids. People who I went to school with was getting braids by her. So I went to her and I mean, the braids that she did, I mean, she, would, she wouldn't leave her edges out. Nobody was really leaving edges out back then. So she braided my edges up. And one day, like, I kind of noticed that I had a braid that was loose. You, It was hanging, like, hanging on by a thread. But you know when your braids are starting to get old, they start to, like, slide. And I have very silky hair, so I'm used to my braids slipping out by themselves. So... I'm like, okay, whatever. So I'm chilling, I'm chilling, or whatever. And this happened at school. I'm like, I get in like, cause I was driving, I get in the car and the whole braid comes out. I'm like, okay, whatever. But then I look down and my, that my hair was in the braid. Like it was, a chunk of my edges was gone, like right here. So I run home, I call my friend. I'm like, girl, like I have no edges. She was just like, me either and I was just like no like literally my brain took out my edge she was like let me see I took a picture she was like oh my god like this part was gone like you see how I have hair right here there was this wasn't there and I was convinced that she was hating on me she took out my hair on purpose but now when I look back it was because like they were so weak because I was flat and flat ironing them so much because I mean I had to do the ponytails and had to do my edges so they became so weak and then on top of that when it got braids braids was so tight it just ripped it out so I had that situation so what I what I had to do was I had to like when I went to go get sew-ins I would just turn the braid on my edges be in you or whatever so you couldn't see my edges or like if I had to wear my natural hair out between me getting sew-ins I would just like do like a little swoop so it could cover it up so that was my first so all of that my hair was damaged like leave out was straight i had curly hair straight hair straight hair straight hair no edges right here it was bad so i'm like okay i graduated and now so i missed the part so let's backtrack to when i said i was in high school so when i when after my edges came out I decided at that point like you know I'm just gonna go ahead and cut all my hair off so I cut all of my hair off not like bald bald but I did like a little pixie cut and as you can see nothing too major which was it able was to help to cover up the fact that I had no edge right there so after that I was still getting sewings like I was able to still get sewings because um my hairstylist she was fast she could grip the back of my head and you know make it make it work which was still bad on my part because I'm putting more tension on my hair like it was bad so so now I done graduated I'm letting my hair grow out and get once again I'm still getting sewings I'm still getting sewings so now like I said I'm in college so fast forward this is when I knew that I had to be done with sewings so I when I went to, I transferred to Clark Atlanta. When I transferred to Clark Atlanta, I didn't trust nobody in Atlanta doing my hair because for one, it's always some bullshit with them. So it's no point. So I would come back on the weekends and get my hair done. So this particular weekend I needed to get my hair done. I, I went to the same lady that I always do all of the time. Um, and I'm insert the pictures of the hairstyle I got. So I got a sew-in. When I went to go get this, when I went to go get the sewing, first of all, let's just start with the story. The lady was late as hell. So she was late. Okay. She gets there. She has a real bad attitude. 
She says hey to me. She don't have an attitude with me, but she just you could tell she has an attitude. She tells me she was like, I'm sorry, girl. I have an attitude. It's a lot going on. So she, I so her having the attitude was taken out on my hair because she never braided my hair tight. But to the, that day she was braiding my hair so tight to the point where like I, I started to do like this and she was just like, am I braiding your hair tight? I was like, yeah, you kind of are. She was like, my bad girl. It's just been a bad day. I'm so sorry. Like, but I'm just like, dang, chill out. So then she starts to sew in my hair and she's yanking, but I'm just like, okay. And you, if y'all who were watching this, like ladies, men too, if you watch this and you got a sew in before, you know, like when you get them, they're tight at first, but the tension starts to sub subside as it, the day goes on. Or if, you know, some stylists, they don't even do them tight. They do them, they do them like to tight enough so that it doesn't, you know, slip out or whatever. But she was just doing my shit tight. But I'm like, nah, I fuck with her. I know her. She's having a bad day. She would never do nothing to damage my hair because she never did before. I've been getting sewing from this lady since 10th grade. Like, literally, I'm a sophomore in college. She's never done nothing to, like, mess up my hair. So I'm like, whatever. So I pay her, and I get in the car, and I'm like, I'm in excru excruciating pain. Like, I ain't never felt that before, especially coming from her. So I'm like, dang, this junk really, really, really hurts. So, by the time, so, I get my hair done, I go right back to Atlanta. So, by the time I make it to Atlanta, you know, it's like a two-hour drive. My head don't hurt no more. So, I'm just like, yeah, maybe it was just, you know, I just had to let it settle in. So, boom, fast forward to, like, two weeks after that. Because, you know, so is last. And I know how to make mine last. I'm doing my hair. And I do like this. And there's no hair right there. And I'm like, okay. So then I do like this to this side and there's hair. So I'm like, okay. So I just keep doing my hair. I said, maybe I just need to take out my hair. When I take out my hair, it's probably because it's braided back, whatever. Uh, I take out my sewing like a week after that. Why I take out my sewing and li there's literally from here from here all the way to back here, there's, when I say from here all the way to back here, there was no hair. And I had my friend Ariane can vouch for me because as soon as I seen that, I ran downstairs to her room and I just started knocking on the door. I said, look, she was like, yo, cause she from up north. She was like, what happened? I'm like, I don't know. Like I started crying because I'm like, my hair was gone. I called my mom, I called my sister. And I'm like, y'all won't believe what happened. I have no hair. They was like, stop playing. And they was just like, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Look at all that hair on your head. Because they're looking from the top up. Because I'm like this. And then I showed them. They're like, what happened? So there's so many. I didn't even take pictures because I was so embarrassed. There's so many possible theories. Possibly when she was braiding my hair, it could have it started, probably started to yank. Or when after she braided it and then when she started to sew it, it probably was yanking. So and you remember I told you guys my edges was so fragile, it became so fragile that it yanked. It probably yanked it out. Then on top of that too, when I'm getting ready for class, I'm curling my hair, so I'm doing like that. So it's so many possible things that could have ripped it out to the point where like there was nothing left there at all. So yeah. I had no edges at that point. So, like, what my friend Ariane would do was, like, she would, like, like, sl like slice my hair down the middle, like, middle party and just, like, slick it and, like, finesse it to make it seem like there was something there. But, y'all, there was nothing there. So, from that moment on, I became completely, so that was 2017. I can I became completely done with sew-ins, and I said I need to focus on my natural hair like I need to really like get this thing under control luckily right after that it was Christmas break and then I ended up taking that 2018 semester off that spring 2018 semester off so I had more than enough time to get this to like grow back enough and then work on my natural hair so I got this to grow back and then I ended up finding people that could actually do closure sewings um like closures or whatever but I didn't go to them yet, so I just um, was still rocking my natural hair. So that summer, I started at Georgia State. It was the summer 2018, I started at Georgia State. And my hair had grown. 
like for me taking that semester off like i was putting so many oils so many products so many everything in my hair to get it to grow to get it to you know everything and my hair grew i'm gonna insert a picture of what it looked like from me taking that time off to get it to grow but still even then like my edges were still so fragile um that's gonna become like i'm gonna tell you later on but even to this day my edges are still fragile like yeah you you'll understand why so yeah i got it to grow to that point so boom like i'm like okay cool i started to wear wigs though like um i learned how to make them watched a lot of youtube videos and i just started to wear wigs like i left that whole sewing thing behind like i don't i i haven't looked back at a sewing since that happened i learned how to make wigs and i started making wigs um i learned how to lay them flat i was really just wearing closure wigs at that point or whatever i i have not put another sewing in my head if i couldn't do my like if i couldn't get my hair done i just didn't go out because that i still wasn't comfortable wearing my natural hair out and don't say oh that's like systemic like that's westernized beauty like installed in your head no that's not the reason it takes a lot of work to do your natural hair so i didn't have the patience back then to do it that's the reason why i wasn't wearing it out so um boom that was 2018 so fast forward to like september-ish no october-ish of 2018 i cut all my hair off I had a mental breakdown um that's neither here or there everybody thinks that i did it just to be cute no i had a mental breakdown i cut it all off um yeah so when i did that i cut it all off and that was a waste because it ended up growing like so that was like october by the time december came around i could put my hair in a ponytail that's the good thing about my hair it grows back fast my edges i don't know why but my physical hair grows back um but then what, one thing I've always struggled with my hair was like it'll grow to a certain point and then it'll start breaking off. So it started to grow, grow, because I'm like telling you, I'm wearing wigs like like 2019 rolls around and I'm wearing nothing but wigs, nothing but wigs, nothing but wigs, nothing but wigs, nothing but wigs. So by the time, um, I want to say November 2019 comes around, my hair is like right here from when i cut it all off it made it to right here but then it starts breaking off a, a very big issue of mine was i always had in my head that if i don't touch my hair or don't put anything on my hair or don't do anything to my hair my hair will grow back then i wasn't putting no oils i wasn't putting nothing i just washed it put conditioner in it left it alone after i washed it let it air dry or blow dry it if i needed to get my hair done or put a wig on and didn't do nothing so my hair was very brittle and dry, but I'm thinking, well, I'm not messing with it, so it should grow, but that was the problem. So I'm at, I'm at this point, I'm like, okay, my hair's made it to here, but then by December, it's back up here, and I'm like, why does that keep happening to me? So December, early December, I went to go see this, this natural hair lady in Atlanta, and I don't know if this lady was sent from god or what or she was like heaven sent because when i after going to this lady my hair changed completely i don't know if she had the gift hands of god or what i don't know like if i could if i remembered her instagram i would i think i do i'm going to tell her thank you one day because it's because of her the reason why my hair is the way it is so i set an appointment with her and then i put consultation like so i sent for her to a consultation and for her to blow dry my hair wash my hair and just do like a regular natural hairstyle like a twist out so talking to her I, I just give her the rundown of the history of my hair and she's like damn you've been some, through some shit with your hair and i'm like yeah she was like well i got you she did everything da 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 she gave me a nice little trim she told me she recommended products for me to put in my hair you guys are going to see the products one in particular is this um how did what is that called uh, Dr. Miracles that she recommended that and that's the reason why I used that she recommended that one product she was like start putting that in your on your edges and your hair every day and start actually put products in your hair because she was like your hair is so brittle because it's dry she was just like when your hair is dry and it makes it to a certain point and you're not getting those trims and certain stuff like that it's going to start to break off the shaft 
this, that, and the third. She was, and I, and then I explained to her, I'm like, I would love to wear my natural hair out, but I try to follow those uh, YouTubers and it doesn't work. And, you know, she said some real shit to me. She was just like, stop watching those natural hair YouTubers. I was, and you know, she was right what she said. I'm about to tell you what she said. She was just like, a lot of those girls are mixed, which is true. A lot of these natural hair girls are mixed. So they have an advantage over other, like, some of us other people with natural hair so of course their curly hair is going to look different from mine or the products that they use is not going to be more as intense as mine they're going to need little to no product that kind of thing because they can literally just wash their hair and it's curly whereas me i would have to you know do the whole nine to keep it curly she was like just stop watching them and do what's best for you she was like she told me that's something that she had to learn because she went through like a certain that's what made her wanted to be a natural hairstylist because she went through the same things of like having to figure out what was best for her but she was always trying to follow youtubers and that's what i was doing too so after she did what she did to my hair my hair has been the best it's been in years i've been keeping up with all like that was like i said that was december 2019 i've been keeping up with all of my trims i have not missed a trim since then i've um I put oils and products in my hair. I um, I do still do protective styles, but I make sure like when I do the protective styles, my edges are out. And if I do go to somebody and, and before I go to them, I ask them like, hey, do you leave edges out? Or I ask somebody who been to them before then and they'd be like, no, nah, I don't go to them. I only trust myself, my mother, uh, Kayla. Um, Octavia used to do my hair. I trust her and um, the girl who does my wigs, Drea, those are the only people that touch my hair because of my edges and just my hair in general. They don't break my hair off. They they really care for my hair. And fast forward to now, like this is what my hair looks like now. Um, I'm pretty sure it's different now. Like it's probably grown some more because that was in May or whatnot. But and even now, like I don't even like wearing certain hairstyles for too long because I just like my natural. I've grown to like it because I take care of it. And that's just what I wanted to tell you guys, like, if you're struggling with your natural hair or you're struggling just in general of what to do with your hair, don't follow other what other people do. I'm just here to give you my tips and my tricks. If you feel like this might work for you, by all means, go try those products out, but don't do what I do. And that was my biggest mistake in my whole natural hair journey, doing what other people do. And I messed up my hair and I ruined my hair and it took me up until now at age 23 to finally have healthy hair and hair that I actually like and hair that I'm proud of and hair that I don't mind wearing out. I was just always following up behind somebody, getting a relaxer because my sister got one, getting a sewing because I hated my natural hair and I ruined it to the point where I had to wear sewing because I didn't want to wear my hair out. Trying to wear my natural hair out but following YouTubers that don't even have the same kind of hair as me. like. That was my biggest mistake. These YouTubers, bro, like, uh, I don't even, I don't even care for them anymore. Like, no, like they, they, their tips and tricks were ass, no offense. But I just wanted to say, like, if you're struggling with getting your natural hair right, you're just struggling with your hair journey, it is definitely going to get better. Like everything gets better, but your hair, because it's just hair, remember guys. It is just hair. It will always, always, always grow back. Always. That's one thing I know. Like, it will always grow back. So if you're struggling today, start tomorrow. Find you a little nice routine, and I promise it will grow. But that's it. I hope this was, like, interesting uh, about, like, my hair or whatever and how I got to this. I don't think a lot of people know that I've had a relaxer. I try to keep that to myself because it's kind of embarrassing. But anyways... On to the next clip. You guys are going to see how I wash my hair, how I condition my hair, deep condition my hair, and the products I use. And um, and it will be a voiceover, so I hope you guys enjoy the next clip. All right, you guys. So, as you guys can see what I'm doing, I am taking out my scrunchie. And you guys know from all of my hauls, I say I like scrunchies because hair ties rip your hair out. Fun fact. So, right here, you see me splitting my hair in half. Um... Yeah, the clip is about to actually stop because I'm actually about to see if I have dandruff in my hair watch. And then it's going to stop. Alright, so I'm back now. You guys can see it looks a little different because I was showing my mom to make sure, like, there was no dandruff. So once again, I'm splitting my hair into sections. I don't even think this is actually going to, like, stay. But 
as you can see right here, I'm picking my hair out. Um, I actually learned from this natural loctician that I follow on TikTok that picking your hair out is actually not something you should do all of the time. And that was another mistake I made. So when you do decide to pick your hair out, just make sure your hair is a little oiled up or not dry or anything. Because when you pick it out on dry hair, it actually rips out your hair. And I didn't know that. So my hair is oiled up, so I'm fine. But I'm just picking it out because I don't like to use paddle brushes or anything. So, and I couldn't find my white tooth comb. So, yeah, I'm just going to be picking my hair out. Picking it out. And, I mean, I'm going to be picking it out for a minute. So, I'm going to come back. I'm going to just let this play out. Fast forward. So you guys can see that my hair is all detangled about to grab my towel because for y'all I washed my hair in my bathroom sink which was a struggle but we had to do what we had to do anyways I'm splitting my hair I think I'm about to split it into four sections that you're about to see and also you're about to see me have a dance breakdown so just give me a second for that and then you're going to see which products I use to wash my hair. If you guys watch my vlogs, you know, for one of those vlogs, I showed you what products I use to wash my hair. So we're about to get into that once I stop with this bullshit right here. So I wet my hair. And now you're seeing that I use the Shea Moisture Castor Oil um, shampoo. That's the only shampoo I use. If I run out of shampoo, I don't use what my mom or my sister use. I only use that one. That is the only one that has worked for me at period. I've tried many shampoos in my life and my grown ass age now, that is the only shampoo that works. Anyways, as you can see, I'm washing the front of my head. And that is because I have a lot of product buildup up there from gel, from gel that I use on my edges. And then I'm going to use it in the back from product buildup. One thing... I do is if I don't have a lot of product buildup, I only wash my hair once with shampoo. But if there is product buildup, I do it twice. So as you can see, I'm like massaging the shampoo into my scalp just to get like gel. Because I think before I washed my hair for this clip, I had um did like a ponytail hairstyle. And um, I kept having to put gel on my head. So I just needed to get all that gel out. And then I worked that shampoo in my ends. Just to get that real good as you can see but yeah but it's all up up to preference how you do your hair but like I was saying it's all preference how you wash your hair so yeah um I know some of those natural stylists used to love to say the ones here on not natural stylists, natural gurus here on YouTube love to say don't wash your hair with shampoo because it strips your hair of natural oil if your hair is dirty wash your hair and that was another mistake I made I wasn't washing my hair which like that's nasty wash your hair um don't listen to them like i said those people they figured out what works for them but you need to wash your hair like i don't know where they got that from wash your hair but right here i'm just washing out the shampoo all right so now i'm back after washing out the shampoo and also another thing you guys a lot of those natural gurus love to say don't towel dry your hair i've been towel drying my hair since i was a little freaking girl and i'm gonna keep doing that it's never done me wrong even natural hairstylists that you go to the salon use towels so i don't know where they got this t-shirt thing from but like i said to each its own anyways you as you can see i'm splitting my hair because i'm about to proceed to put conditioner in my head so i'm just splitting it into i believe three or four sections I don't sometimes I don't even know why I do this yeah like I was saying sometimes I don't even know why I split my hair but anyways as you can see I'm using that conditioner it's the same thing as the shampoo but the conditioner version the Shea Moisture Black Castor Oil 
love it does my hair wonders haven't used anything since that sometimes i think about trying other shampoos and conditioners but i don't even want to set myself up to mess up my hair um so yeah i was running out of that stuff but what was left in the bottle went a long way so as you can see what i do when i put my conditioner in i um finger detangle my hair and um that's how i do it personally i know some people they use a y2 combs but i use that after the fact you're going to see what i'm talking about or i use a denman brush like i said you're going to see that after the fact so i am just finger detangling my hair with the conditioner in it working it through my hair making sure every strand gets touched i like to focus a lot on the ends in my edges and you guys know why from the beginning of this video and then i'm going to go ahead and go to the other side so i'm going to leave you guys to watch that because i mean this is kind of self-explanatory <laughs> I'm back I've washed out the conditioner and um, now I'm about to deep condition my hair so I'm using that mega thick intense repair if you guys remember like I said in my vlog I was using the packs of those and I got tired of buying packs so I just bought like a tube of it and it works really well if you remember what I said in my video that I use that before styles and after styles it works I love do do gross products so yeah so I'm about to split my hair in sections and I'm going to uh, work that through the ends, through the roots, and on my edges. And if I didn't say before, all of the products that I use will be listed below. And I'm just showing you what the inside of that looks like. But yeah, all the products that I use will be listed down below just in case you guys are interested in buying them, trying them out, or just want to know what I use, that kind of thing. So when I was putting my conditioner on you guys saw that I finger detangled now I'm going to grab my Denman brush in a second and I'm going to use that to work the product through my hair because this product is super duper thick and with my fingers I feel like it wasn't getting the job done so I just grabbed my Denman brush to do that so like I said these these clips are pretty self-explanatory so I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up the process while you guys watch what I do
so as you can see I'm changed because I went ahead and got in the shower and just washed out the conditioner now I'm be using my first product that is a leave-in conditioner from Carol's daughter that works wonders been using that for some years now so yeah I spray that all in my hair um, honestly y'all I don't really know what it does but I know it works that's the best I can do like when I started using it I could tell there was a difference in my head so I like it if you want to try it out then I go in with this Pantene gold series hydrating buttercream I had got packets of these one time when I was at Clark and Pantene came to our school and my hair was really dry one day so I needed something to put in I grabbed that packet and I put it in my hair and ever since then I've been using that I love that stuff it keeps my hair so moisturized and so hydrated love it love it love it love it you can see i work it on my edges my roots and my ends that in that order and then i massage it in the scalp all right so on to the next product i'm not using that i'm just showing you guys what i would use that product weighs your hair down a lot so like in between hairstyles i'll put that in but this is what i'm using next and that is the dr miracle that i was talking about earlier the hot grow love that stuff that is my fifth bottle and i'm actually gonna start buying that stuff in bulks now because i buy so much of it and i'm gonna put that amount in my hand work it in and then work it in my hair then work it on my ends because i'm gonna end up using it again before the end of this video make sure you always get the middle of your hair your middle of your hair is very dry believe it or not so make sure you always put product in the middle of your head all right, so now I'm about to get this Do Grow Mega Long Hair Fertilizer. Like I said, I am a Do Grow girl. I love their stuff. Just showing you guys what it looks like on the inside. Take that amount. And then I work that in. Put it on the ends. Same old, same old. And if you guys have any questions too, you know, I am love to answer questions and I'm here to help. And then I get this wild growth oil and I work it in the middle of my head, the back. I just put it everywhere that I feel like it needs it and then I work it on my edges. And you guys are about to see what I do. So what I'm about to do next after I put all of this all over my head is I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to stimulate my scalp. Um, this stimulates hair growth. It stimulates whatever the hell else it stimulates google it but it stimulates hair growth for the most part and i just work it i do it mainly on my edges you can't tell but those two sides of my head that was the area where my hair got ripped out and i just make sure that those two sides are getting as much stimulation as possible to promote hair growth so i do that for a few minutes no more than minute or minute and 30 so then what I'm about to do next is grab that Dr. Miracle and work that on my edges. And then I work it on the sides. And that's pretty much it. After I wash my hair, I do that. And then I'm going to show you guys one last step. With this last step, what I do is I take those two scrunchies that you saw, I split my hair in half, make sure they're silk scrunchies personally, and this is how I dry my hair. Um, this is something I learned from one, um, I know I was talking mad shit about them, but this is something I learned from the natural hairstylist. You want to stretch your hair. So I wrap you, as you can see what I'm doing, I'm wrapping the scrunchie multiple times to stretch it. That's my way of drying it. So I don't have to use a blow dryer. This doesn't get my hair 100% dry. But if I have to go get my hair done or something, I'll do this and then I'll dry it. But if I'm just doing my own hair, I'll do this and I'll keep it in for about a day or so. It gets my hair, mm, I want to say 90% dry. The other 10%, I just like take those out and then I just let it air dry. And that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Yeah! <laughs>